What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. In this video we are jumping into Daredevil issue number 13. In the previous issue what we saw was the death of Matt Murdock. Having to die so he can travel to the realm of the beast. He has one last chance to save all of his friends. And while Elektra had tried to stop Matt from completing the ritual, the two lovers, they battled before the portal until Matt had tricked her and she delivered the killing blow. After Matt had died, he woke up in the arms of another, of his father, reinvigorated. Daredevil's transformation within the depths of the beast, within the beast's hell, and the new color of his suit echoing the burning, white-hot rage of his soul. So make sure you guys have subscribed to the channel, make sure that you like this video, and with that being said, oh, let's dive into this breakdown. Alright gang, so as we dive into this issue, we are picking up with Matt Murdock down in hell. Down in the underworld, the realm of the beast, sporting his pure white suit, his father by his side being his guide. But Matt Murdock is not afraid, because Matt Murdock is not alone. Matt Murdock has God by his side. All the prophecies of the fist had led him here. They had led him to his death, and he refuses to let this be in vain. As we see the surroundings around him change, he appears to walk into an apartment, one where he finds those that he has loved and lost, from his brother to Karen, all of the people that have died, but he quickly recognizes that these are nothing more than illusions, something to try and stop him along his path. Learning that these are demons, we see the demons fly off, as they screech that the beast will taste his soul. Now down here, his radar senses, it's reaching everywhere. Not even in death was this power taken from him. He can feel it brushing against the souls of the damned. It dances through the fire. And all he can think is how lucky he is to have such a gift. To be blessed with the ability to touch without touching. This only helps him understand that God is on his side. That God has always been on his side. That how could he have ever doubted that God was there for him. As we watch him battle through the hordes of demons, no matter the illusions they throw at him, he fights for God. For hours, days, he cannot tell any longer. But it does not matter. He will fight until the very end. This is when he approaches a cage. He finds Foggy. He finds Stick. He finds everybody that he has ever lost. Imprisoned here, he is letting them know that he is here to save them. With Matt letting them know that he's going to get them out of here and then he's going to take care of the beast. That is where we see the beast arrive. But something happens to the guide. Something happens to the father of Matt Murdock. With the beast being happy to see the one that banished him back to hell. He tells Matt Murdock that he was brought here as a treat for him. He wasn't brought here by his god. He was brought here by something worse. This is where we see Matt Murdock's father begin to transform. Transform into the sibling of the beast. The sister of the beast, letting the beast know that he will be your end. And at this point, Matt Murdock is completely confused. Finally starting to understand the hand serves the beast and the fist serves his sister. With Matt Murdock dropping down to his knees, all along, Elektra and him were so blinded by the fist representing something more than he thought. Their bloodlust for the enemy, that they never considered what was truly behind it. He had thought that God created the Book of the Fist, with Foggy telling him that everything's gonna be okay, that together none of them can beat him. With tears coming down Matt's eyes, he gets up to his feet. He grabs that cage that is holding his friends in place. God may have not been behind the fist, but God is behind Daredevil. He keeps on focusing on the wrong things. God is love. The thing that drives Daredevil is love. He loves Elektra. He loves the world, its people, and he loves his friends. And so now he is going to let love guide him freeing everybody he loves from prison, ushering them out of here. While the Beast and his sister, the two of them battle a great battle above them. The sister letting Matt Murdock know that he can't leave, 
that his work here is not done. That if he chooses this day not to fight, that there is another of the beast, one who will. And she is talking, of course, about Elektra. Now, while all of his friends leave, Matt Murdock stays behind because he fights for love and he wants this all to come to an end. He fights for his light. It's inside. That love dissolves all the shadows with inside him. He fights for love with God's love. With him taking his weapons, he jams them into his skull, creating horns on his head, his weapons turning into freaking lightsabers. It has all come down to this. The final fight in a lifetime of fighting. How could it be any other way? But he is here not to fight on the side of the fist. He is here to take down both the fist and the hand. We see that he is quickly able to take down the sister, but he still has the beast to deal with. As Matt makes his attack, we see that he is struck down by the beast. In this devastating blow, Matt Murdock lost a freaking arm. With Matt Murdock bleeding out on the ground, the beast lets it be known that his sister, she played him well, better than he ever could. But he was still brought here as a gift, getting ready to devour the soul. We see one of the weapons that Matt Murdock had thrown up into the air, it came back down, going through the back of the beast. Matt uses this as an opportunity to get back on his feet, and as everything begins to shift, the sister of the beast letting it be known that pitting him against her brother, all of these years forging him, his death, that would be hers as well, and she believes it to be glorious. Because of this fall, we are seeing the beast realm fall apart, with the souls needing more time to escape. Matt Murdock is doing everything he can to allow everybody to get out of here. While Matt tries to catch up, he runs as fast and as hard as he can, with Foggy reaching out to him. Matt Murdock is unable to save his own life. With everybody returning to the world, Foggy and everyone else back in the land of the living, today, Matt Murdock saved everybody that he loved, and it came at the ultimate sacrifice. And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Man, did this move much quicker than I was expecting it to. I was really expecting this to play out over a couple issues, and I'm kind of glad that it didn't. You know, usually, usually I like a good build-up, but you guys know how much I love when the plot just gets pushed forward. And that's exactly what we saw happen here. So to dissect what exactly just went down, Matt Murdock believed this whole time that God had been guiding him. But in truth, it was the sister of the beast. It was all a manipulation. And though you might think that this would break the faith of Daredevil, the truth is, his faith in God has never been more strong. It has never been more powerful. Because while the beast may not have been God, he knows that God has his back. That there is a plan. He knew that coming down here would more than likely lead to his demise. But he had one goal in mind, and that was to save his friends. To save all of those he loved, all of those that he cared about. And that's exactly what we saw him do. Foggy and everybody else, they are now back. They are returned. But it came at the ultimate sacrifice. Daredevil was unable to make it out of the underworld. This is not to say that Daredevil is dead or Daredevil will not return. But now Daredevil must find another way to return back to Earth. He is going to have to battle his way through hell. Through the underworld, through the beast realm. Thinning off the demons, the ones that would like to steal his soul, that would like to devour him for lunch. Matt Murdock may have died and won his battle against the beast, but his true fight for survival, it has only just begun. So let me know what you guys think, let me know your thoughts, let me know your theories. If you would like to get completely caught up on everything going on with this series, be sure to check out the link in my description as well as the top of this video. It will get you completely caught up on everything going on with Daredevil. If you would like to support the channel, you can always do so by joining the channel membership. Much like Patreon, having multiple different tiers, from $1 to $50. 
from loyalty badges to comics every single month. Not only are you helping out the channel tremendously, but you are getting tons of perks in the process. Now, if you are unable to do this, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, like this video, hit that notification bell, and with that being said, until the next breakdown.